Hello everyone, Vinita this side. Welcome back to Nagin Best Digital Learning uh, Channel. So today, after complete summarize the poem, Amanda. Today we are going to start our video with the question answers of the same poem. So class 10, NCRT English, chapter number 6, Amanda. So the poem Amanda by Robin Klein depicts a child's feelings about the restrictions his parents put on her. Children feel their parents don't let them do many things they want to do. That was a very true challenge in front of the students, in front of children. That sometimes it happens that they feel that their parents don't let them do so many things that they want to achieve, they want to do in their life. And uh, the feelings of restrictions, sometimes they do have and it really affects their emotions. So in the poem, there is a girl named Amanda who feels her mom nags her too much. And it was uh, real also that her mother who is nagging her for her mistakes and sometimes he, uh, she scolds Amanda for so many silly mistakes, so many things that she did not like. And the, they, uh, the, as a parents, they only want to increase the attitude level, to increase the moral value in the student, in the children. For that purpose, she always, uh, Amanda was always, uh, Amanda was being instructed all the time by her mother and uh, she didn't do whatever she wanted to do in life. So the mother scolds Amanda for so many things, for example, for biting her nails, hunching her shoulders and not to sitting straight. Amanda does not like it. Literally, she does not like the behavior as her mother behaved. And it was true that if we are not able to understand the point of view of our children, point of view of our child, firstly, let them understand what is your perspective. And you should also it's uh, as a parent it is also important to learn to grab the attention of the children what is the actual problem where he or she is lacking so instead of scolding them again and again instead of nagging them firstly let them understand in what things they are wrong and in what things they need not to do. So same with Amanda. So on the contrary, Amanda lives in her dream world. Ab instead of feeling that, that why her mother always scolding him, scolding her, instead of understand that point, she only lives in her dream world. And in her fantasy, she feels like a mermaid swimming freely and just, uh, joyously in the light green sea. Her mother always feels, uh, her mother, uh, sorry, Amanda always feels like a mermaid. Water animal? To swim freely. Actually, she wants freedom. Usko freedom chahiye. And freedom in not the sense that we are free to do anything, we don't to say anything. As a parent, it's our moral value, it's our moral duty, it's our, it's our responsibility also. But still, 
वी नीड टू बी वेरी विजिलेंट कि हमें बच्चों का प्रोस्पेक्टिव भी समझना चाहिए और अगर हमें उनको किसी बात को लेकर समझाना भी है तो उनके खुद के प्रोस्पेक्टिव उनके खुद के पैटर्न उनके खुद के लेवल के अकॉर्डिंग हमें उस, उस लेवल तक जाके उनको समझाना है सो लेट देम अंडरस्टैंड मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड बट नॉट नेग्लेक्ट देम डोंट इग्नोर देम एंड ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए दैट ऑलवेज एंड ऑलवेज यू जस्ट कॉल्ड इट देम एंड यू विल जस्ट कॉल्डिंग और हर सो सेम विद अमांडा she was literally very irritated by the behavior of her mother and then what she decided she decided to spend his life spend her life in dreams world only in her fantasy she feels like a mermaid swimming freely and joyously in the light green sea wo feel kar rahi thi wo feel karti hai मतलब वो ऐसा मतलब इमेजिनेशंस करने लग गई अपनी लाइफ में और उसकी इमेजिनेशंस जो थी वो उसको ऐसे फील कराती थी मतलब वो अपनी इमेजिनेशन में अपने आप को हमेशा अकेला रहना ही जो है वो इमेजिन करती थी दैट आई वांट टू स्पेंड माय लाइफ फ्री आई वांट टू स्पेंड माय लाइफ एज एन ऑफन इट इज लिटरली वेरी बिग थिंग If a child is in that type of thinking ना कि इससे अच्छा तो वो अनाथ होता है so literally I think that uh, that was the very big failure for her parent so the mother drags Amanda out of her dream by asking whether she has completed her homework or not instead of understanding her instead of understand her that why she is lacking behind what is the actual problem why she did not follow whatever you want so instead of understanding their level their perspective instead of understanding her perspective her mother only take uh, took her, her out of her dreams only by asking whether she has completed her homework kaam kar liya ya nahi kiya she also asked her whether she has tied her tidied her room ki kya usne room ko samet liya tha and she tells her to clean and polish the shoes aur usko bata rahe hai ki usko polish karna hai aur usko clean karna hai apne shoes amanda has another reward in which she herself as an orphan roaming freely barefooted now she imagined herself ab wo apne aap ko na aise imagine kar rahi hai ki wo anath hai and barefoot in golden silence aur wo bilkul silence mein barefooted matlab uske paas pehenne ke liye chappal nahi hai footwear nahi hai and uninterrupted freedom अनइंटरप्टेड किसी चीज में कोई भी इंटरप्शन नहीं हो ऐसी फ्रीडम एटलीस्ट एक्चुअली शी वॉन्टेड शी वॉन्टेड साइलेंस एंड अन इंटरप्टेड फ्रीडम बट स्टिल शी डिड नॉट हैव ओनली जस्ट बिकॉज दैट शी वॉज वेरी इरिटेटेड ओके Because uh, why she imagined herself to be an orphan? Because she is now fed up of being watching by her parents continuously. जो निगरानी उसके parents ने उसके ऊपर रखी हुई थी ना उस निगरानी से ना वो बहुत fed up हो चुकी थी. She says that she would have enjoyed her freedom then. by making the patterns of her bare feet on the sand and would live a peaceful life she wanted to spend her life in a very peaceful manner next amanda is scolded for eating too much too much too many chocolates she is scolded always by her mother she was scolded 
हमेशा उसकी मम्मा उसको सिली सिली मिस्टेक्स वो करती थी तो हर चीज पे डांटना दैट इज नॉट अ सोल्यूशन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अ चाइल्ड why she behaved like that why she did not get your pro- get your point so so many things are there so we need to be very much vigilant about that so amanda usi tarah wahi ek ladki thi jiske andar quality bahut zyada hai but still something is there jisme lack hai i hope you will understand this so now we are going to start with the question answers page number 62 thinking about the text how old do you think amanda is and how do you know this aapko kya lagta hai amanda kitne saal ki thi us time jab ye poem ki baat ki gayi wo kitne saal ki hai एंड आपको ये बात कैसे पता अमांडा इज अंग गर्ल हु इज अराउंड नाइन टू टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड अमांडा एक यंग गर्ल है शी इज वेरी यंग अप्रोक्सीमेटली बिटवीन द एज ऑफ नाइन टू टेन एंड शी इज बींग रिबुक्ड बाय हर पेरेंट्स विद टिपिकल इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज क्वाइट कॉमन for children of her age she is being rebuked by her parents usko har bar wo uske parents se na wo bahut matlab irritated thi kyunki wo usko bar bar kuch na kuch instructions jo hain wo dete rehte the and that is quite common for children of her age और वो इस एज में ऐसी एज में बच्चों के साथ करना बहुत कॉमन है आमतौर पर सभी पेरेंट्स ऐसे करते हैं एंड हर पेरेंट्स आर ट्राइंग टू इनकलकेट गुड मैनर्स एंड एटीगेट्स इन हर फॉर ऑन गुड एज शी इज वेरी नेव एंड इनोसेंट हर पेरेंट्स आर ट्राइंग टू इनकलकेट गुड मैनर्स एंड एटीगेट्स इन हर उसके पेरेंट्स की एक ही विश थी गुड मैनर्स और एटीगेट्स लाना एज शी इज वेरी नेव एंड इनोसेंट क्योंकि वो बहुत ही सीधी सराधी एंड इनोसेंट बहुत मासूम थी सो दैट इज वाई वी कैन से दैट शी इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली अंडर द एज ऑफ नाइन टू टेन ओके एंड Uh, in that age it is very it is quite common that the child is being instructed according to that nextly in question number 2 who do you think is speaking to her who do you think is speaking to her aapko kya lagta hai ki usse wo kaun hai jo bol raha hai amanda is being Spoken to by one of her parents. Amanda जो है ना अपने parents में से किसी एक के बारे में ही वहां पर बात कर रही है It is most likely that that's her mother. Generally speaking, a mother is the first teacher for a child. बोलने के लिए उसकी mother जो है वो बच्चे के लिए first priority भी होती है शी ऑलवेज ट्राइज और एक मदर का हमेशा से एक ही प्रोस्पेक्टिव होता है और एक ही एम होता है ट्राइज टू गाइड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस इंस्ट्रक्ट टू हर चाइल्ड टू फॉलो द राइटिशियस मैन वो हमेशा कोशिश करती है अपने बच्चे को मार्गदर्शन करने की इंस्ट्रक्शंस देने की हर चाइल्ड टू फॉलो द राइटिशियस पार्ट वो सही रास्ते पर चले so i hope you will understand this that uh, who do you think 
uh, is speaking to her actually she is her mother to whom she wanted and she is speaking and uh, generally jo speaking hoti hai na bacche ko bolna sikhana bacche ki maa ka sabse pehla role hota hai usme क्योंकि वही होती है जो बच्चों को गाइड कर सकते हैं और इंस्ट्रक्शंस दे सकते हैं कि उनको क्या क्या चीजें सिखानी है ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वाई आर स्टेंजर्स टू फोर एंड सिक्स गिवन इन पेरेंथिस Yes, so stanza two, four, and six are given in parenthesis because they exhibit the inner thoughts and reactions of Amanda as she receives instructions from his mother given in Amanda, given in structure. So we can say that why why we can say that. it is uh, that they are the part of parenthesis because isse hame inner thoughts ke bare mein pata chal raha hai aur reaction jo amanda ka hai jaise usko apni mother se bar bar instructions mil rahe hain aur wo bar bar ye cheeze hame dikha rahe hain to hum uski life se pehchan kaise ho sakte hain nextly we do have that Do you think the speaker is listening? कि वो सुनने वाला है क्या वो इनकी बात सुनेगा So next question, the speaking of the true संजाज टू फोर एंड सिक्स इज अ चाइल्ड एंड अमांडा हर सेल्फ खुद भी फ्रेंड्स थे सारे और अमांडा भी इसमें इंक्लूड थी No, she is not. she uh, no she is not listening of paying heed uh, of heel to her mother's word in stanza one to usne zyada dhyan nahi diya and simply informed simply uh, said about her mother's words uh, in stanza 1357 Okay, so nextly we can say that she is not listening. वो नहीं सुनती थी अपनी मदर की बात को जो वो बार बार कहते थे And uh, one three five as she is lost in her own dream world, or when she was at the age of sixty five and junior. Okay, so nextly we can say that. Uh, In one, two, three stanza, one to five stanza, as she lost Susan. Okay, so we can say that it is in the interrogative that we need to tell what is the exact scenario of the stanza one, three, and five when she is lost in her own dreams. Her imagination lets her escape from reality. तब उसकी इमेजिनेशन को लाइफ की रियलिटी से बचा लिया गया था शी इज क्वाइट इन वेरी लेस थिंग ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव व्हाट कुड अमांडा डू इफ शी वर अ मरमेट अगर वो एक मरमेट होती एक वाटर एनिमल होती तो वो क्या कर सकती If anyone were a mermaid, she could lift away slowly and carelessly. Okay, so nextly we can say that Amanda's desire to be mermaid because a mermaid symbolizes liberty and wonder, and main thing, freedom also. And she only wants to get peaceful environment.
so nextly we can say that she wanted she desired to be a mermaid because she wanted to be free she wanted to be about she was very serious that she wanted to make herself as a mermaid nextly in question number 6 is amanda an orphan amanda ke anath ladki thi and why does she say so उन्होंने ऐसा क्यों कहा नो अमांडा इज नॉट एन ऑर्फन अमांडा ऑर्फन नहीं है शी सेज शी शी से सो बिकॉज उसने ऐसा इसलिए कहा बिकॉज शी वॉन्टेड टू बी ऑन हर वे शी फील्स दैट शी इज बींग कॉन्स्टेंटली नैग्ड बाय हर पेरेंट्स शी फील्स वो ऐसा महसूस करती है कि उसके पेरेंट्स उसको हमेशा से इंस्ट्रक्शंस दे दे के उसको बहुत नीचा दिखाते हैं बट बीइंग अ लिटिल गर्ल शी सीज गोल्डन साइलेंस एंड स्वीट फ्राइडम सो वी कैन से दैट कि उसकी मदर जो है ना वो उसको कॉन्स्टेंटली इग्नोर कर रही है डांट रही है स्कोल्डिंग कर रही है सो बीइंग अ यंग गर्ल शी सी गोल्डन साइलेंस एंड स्वीट फ्राइडम so we can say that with golden silence and sweet freedom and want to be break all the norms she wishes to roam around the streets alone okay so nextly we do have the next question question number 7 do you know the story of rupanjal and why does she want to be rupanjal wo rupanjal ki kahani se aap kya jante ho aur wo kyu rupanjal banna chahti thi previously she informed to make that she wanted to make a uh, yes that water insect mermaid and now she was in the second imagination and the imagination was she is a very possessive so nextly we can say that the story of rupanjal revolves around her life on a higher tower That the story of Rapunzel, जो थो story थी, revolves around वो घूम रही थी चारों ओर her life on her high so nextly we can say that ये जो Rapunzel की story है ना ये बहुत ही high quarter से high tower से related है she was looked in the store in that tower tower by will by an event which so she was very happy and content with her life in the tower as literally she was living there so she was very happy and she had for very long gold hair which was used to giving her dress okay so we can say that she was literally she was very happy and content with her life but she had very long blood hair and which are used to which to climb that tall वो अपने जो हेयर्स हैं उन क्या करती है उसको यूज करती है सो वन पॉइंट दे अ प्रिंस केम टू मीट एक राजा 
आया था उसके पास मिलने के लिए एज ही क्लाइम द टावर यूजिंग हर हेयर क्योंकि वो अपने बालों की हेल्प करके ना उस टावर पर चढ़ती थी सो वेन द विच केम टू नो अबाउट इट तो जब उस जादूगर को उस राक्षस को इस स्टोरी के बारे में पता चला तो शी पनिश्ड बोथ ऑफ देम बाय सेपरेटिंग देम तो उसने क्या किया उन दोनों को ना अलग कर दिया फाइनली आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स द कपल यूनाइटेड टुगेदर फॉर एवर और कुछ साल के बाद वो जोड़ा जो है वो इकट्ठा हुआ हमेशा के लिए सिमिलरली अमांडा विशेस टू लिव हर लाइफ लाइक रूपनसल ऑन अ हाई टावर ऑन हर ओन ऐसे ही सेम लाइफ थी अमांडा की जिसमें लेट हर पेरेंट्स द बिहेवियर डाउन विद एनी वन ओके सो वी कैन से दैट नाउ सिमिलरली अमांडा विशेस टू लिव हर लाइफ तो अमांडा भी एक साथ में थी सिमिलर टू एनी वन ऑफ दी हीरो वो अपने खुद के पावर पर हायर टावर में टावर पे पहुंच गई एंड शी एम फॉर फ्रीडम सो मेनली शी वाज बैग्ड she was begged only for few points actually she was very uh, literally she felt the need of freedom peace and harmony and due to this reason sirf isi reason ki wajah se amanda wants to be like rupanjal amanda bilkul rupanjal ki tarah banna chahti hai kyunki usko bhi freedom peace aur harmony ki zarurat thi and now with the, amanda also we can say the same thing so she also states that since the, uh, since she does not want to be distributed or uh, distribute disturbed ki mujhe pata hai ki mujhe disturb nahi hona she would disturb nahi hona chahti thi so she would never let her bright hair down so ab usko ye tha ki mujhe disturb to nahi hona peaceful and what may be chahiye freedom bhi chahiye but still wo apne hairs ko gira nahi sakti jaise rupanjal ko girane pade she simply desired a happy and satisfied life with no disturbance of others usko simply matlab what freely or we can say that uh, in which draw uh, we can uh, ask that she simply desires ki wo koi bhi step aisa na ho jo bachcha wahan ja ke na kar paaye so uh nextly we can say that uh what does the girl earn for uski kya ichha thi and what does the poem tell us about amanda or poem hamari kya baat karta hai amanda ke bare mein so amanda is a young girl who earns a small job as a cook in a small town amanda jo hai wo ladki hai jo apni freedom ke liye lad rahi hai जो चाहती है कि वो अपनी लाइफ को अपनी शर्तों पर अपने खुद के सिस्टम से जिए सो विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्कोल्डिंग फ्रॉम हर पेरेंट्स लगातार अपने पेरेंट्स से डांट खाने के बाद शी रियलाइज दैट शी इज अनकेपेबल ऑफ फुलफिलिंग देयर एक्सपेक्टेशन अब उसे महसूस होने लग गया कि वो एबल ही नहीं है अपने लोगों की एक्सपेक्टेशन को पूरा करना उसको आता ही नहीं so generally children of amanda's age have similar feelings ab jaise ki aap you know about that ki wo so according to that question we can say that literally she is not capable of fulfilling the expectations so generally children of amanda age have similar feelings yes bhi bachcho ke feelings hote hain jo 9 to 10 years ke bachche hote hain uh irrespective of class color of nationality and we all knew we all know that traditional society always demand a well mannered कि सोसाइटी को तो वेल मैनर्ड बिहेवियर चाहिए पर्सन का बट स्टिल देयर पेरेंट्स प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन मोल्डिंग देयर पर्सनालिटी हाउ एवर मोस्ट पेरेंट्स टेन टू इग्नोर द इनोसेंस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेवल ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज इंस्टेड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड दैम 
दे नीड टू जस्ट कॉल डिड हर और हर हिम तो दैट इज द ओनली पॉइंट कि पेरेंट्स ना बच्चों की इनोसेंस को मासूमियत को ना इग्नोर कर देते हैं और उनको बड़ा समझ के उनको डांट देते हैं बट हम ये भूल जाते हैं कि अभी वो छोटे हैं उनका माइंड भी तो अभी उतना ही होगा शायद हो सकता है जब हमारे हम थे तो शायद हमारे पास तब वो इतना भी नहीं होता होगा सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेवल ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन एंड यंग माइंड फेस ट्रिमेंडस प्रेशर फ्रॉम द एल्डर्स एंड on impacts that their surrounding power to power and so i hope you will understand this nextly read the last stanza and tell us do you think amanda is looking uh, and it's moody of course no amanda is neither looking or nor moody she simply longs for her freedom सो so, क्योंकि उसको सिंपली सीधी बात थी कि उसको फ्रीडम चाहिए थी क्योंकि अब वो फेडअप हो चुकी थी अपने पेरेंट्स की वीकेंड से अपने पेरेंट्स की एक्सपेक्टेशन से उनके बार बार डांटने के उनके बार बार इंस्ट्रक्शन देने के तरीके से वो कम्प्लीटली फेडअप हो चुकी थी एंड शी हैज़ अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इमेजिनेटिव पावर अब उसके अंदर ना एक बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग विलिंग पावर थी फ्रॉम ऑल नेगिंग एंड स्कोल्डिंग ओके okay. कि हर कोई उसको इग्नोर करता है उसको तंग करता है टीज करता है उसको स्कोल डांटते रहते हैं एंड द पेरेंट्स हु आर ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू टीच मैनर्स एंड इनकलगेट इनकलकेट गुड हैबिट्स इन इन होम और पेरेंट्स जो थे हु आर ट्राइंग ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू टीच मैनर्स जो हमेशा मैनर्स सिखाना चाहते हैं पेरेंट्स वो गुड हैबिट्स जो उसके अंदर डालना चाहते हैं दे आर अनेबल टू डू दैट वो सक्सेस ही नहीं है उन चीजों को करने के लिए सो दैट वॉज द पॉइंट दैट अमांडा इज लकिंग एंड इट्स टोटली मूडी दैट शी ओनली वॉन्ट्स टू स्पेंड हर लाइफ अकॉर्डिंग टू हर ऑन वे एंड लिटरली वी कैन से दैट द पोएम एक्सप्रेस द स्टेट ऑफ लिटल गर्ल्स माइंड शी ओनली नीड्स द फ्रीडम and uh, whose parents are forever nagging her about what to do and what not to do so this uh, frequent interference makes her very unhappy and she feels that she is not free to do anything that she wants to do she wants freedom from all restrictions she dreams to lead a life of a mermaid uh, with her being the only inhabited there she feels that an orphan an orphan child has more freedom than her so she also wish to lead a calm and quiet life in a tower like that of rupanzal with nobody to disturb her and uh, but still we can say that uh, amanda is now fed up of being watched by her parents continuously she says that she would have enjoyed her freedom then by making the patterns of her bare feet on the sand and would live a peaceful life next amanda is scolded for eating too much chocolates as this causes pimples so she is also scolded for not listening to her mother so now amanda thinks about of being rupanzal a characters from a particular poem and the main protagonist of the poem is amanda and co supporter her mother so i hope you will understand this that what actually the feelings she had in her mind okay so i hope you will understand this thank you have a nice day